matter who we are or where we come from, if we're young or old, tall or small, we all have brains, which means we all have mental health. Just like we need to take care of our physical health, we need to take care of our mental health. The good news is, what's good for our body is also good for our brain. That's because our brain and body are connected. They work together like a team. There's still a whole lot to learn about the brain, but what we know so far is that there are five things everybody can do to help build and keep strong mental health. Getting a good night's sleep. Getting lots of exercise. Eating a variety of healthy foods. Strong, supportive relationships and helping others. Let's see how our friends are keeping their mental health strong through the big five. A good night's sleep is really important for both our physical and mental health. Getting enough sleep helps us remember the things we learn at school and cope with our big feelings. During deep sleep, our brain even cleans itself just like sleep, getting lots of exercise is also super helpful for keeping our brain and body strong now and in the future. One of the best ways to relax and to handle stress is to get moving. Being active during the day also helps our brains be ready for sleep at night. That's what we call a win-win. So what's your favorite way to get active? Our brain is part of our body and it gets its energy from the food we eat. That's why eating a variety of healthy foods each day is really important for our mental health. Sharing meals with friends and family is also a great way to connect with others. Speaking of connecting with others, strong, supportive relationships are also one of the big five for mental health. Spending time with others and having trusted people you can go to for help are important parts of staying mentally healthy. Your support people may include family members, friends, teachers, or anybody else you enjoy spending time with. Think of the list of people you like to spend time with and think of whose list you might be on. Helping others is also one of the big five for mental health. It turns out that getting help when you need it and being a helper is another win-win. Helping others gives us a chance to practice our problem-solving skills and learn that we can make a positive impact. Think of the times when you've helped others. How did you feel? So keep your eyes open for opportunities, even the small ones, where you can be a helper. The Big Five might look a little different for different people, but practicing the Big Five helps everyone's mental health. How can you practice the Big Five in your life? What's one step that you can take for your sleep, your exercise, for healthy eating, for strengthening relationships, or for helping out?